What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a new milestone left back and it is going to be Rigo Henry to review today. Now this guy right here is looking absolutely insane. He's got 94 pace, 83 dribbling, 80 defending, 81 physicals with the 80 passing as well. And it's going to make a lot of people's teams a bit different, let's say. Simply because a lot of people are thinking of going for the Ashley Cole in icon swaps just to get that strong link with Rooney. Now Henry has came out, a lot of people might decide to spend their icon swap tokens somewhere else. Now, the real question is, is Henry as good as these stats actually say? Now, he is a five foot seven play, five foot seven player, which means the tackle reach, the interception reach is not great. And the, and the jumping ability is not going to be great either. Even though he's got 99 jumping to his game, it's like he's five foot seven. He ain't going to be winning headers against a lot of uh, like a lot of uh, attackers anyway. So 99 jumping, I personally feel like is not going to make the biggest of difference. He has got high medium work rates, three star skill moves and a two star weak foot. That two star weak foot could be a little bit worrying. Now, when it comes down to the chem style, the anger chem style is the way to go. It's so perfect for this card, giving him pretty much max out pace, giving him those boosted defensive stats and giving him that plus tender strength as well. So he has got 99 acceleration with the 98 sprint speed no point kind of like you know mentioning his shooting stats because they don't look great like 43 long shot come on now passing ability though he has got 71 vision 87 crossing 89 short passing 74 long passing with the 63 curve it looks like henry's going to be one of those players when it comes down to his passing ability that you have to keep it a bit more simple with you know you can't be hitting these lby's down the line because those kind of passes might actually end up out of play especially with a two-star weak foot if you're hitting with that it's game over. It's not going to get where you want it to get to. But a short passing on the other hand looks very, very good. Now, the dribbling ability. 99 agility seems absolutely insane. 99 balance is kind of understandable. 76 reactions, 82 ball control, 80 dribbling with a 74 composure. Now, the defending, defending ability. He's got 90 interceptions, 86 defensive awareness, 96 standing tackling with a 91 slide tackling as well. I'm still scared for him simply because he is a 5'7 player. But it looks like, looks like he can put in a solid, solid tackle. Now he has got 99 jumping, 93 stamina, 81 strength with the 93 aggression as well. I am enjoying that aggression. I must say the aggression looks very, very good. The strength on the other hand looks okay, let's say. Now when it comes down to the links, obviously you can go ahead and link him up with Rooney. Obviously you can go ahead and link him up with so many good English players and all, but I've personally gone for Rio Ferdinand. I've also got likes of Son, Ruben Neves and Aguero up front. Now when it comes down to the positions, I will try and, I'll be trying Henry in. It is going to be the 4-4 in obviously the left back position but I will actually try him out in more of a send no more of a CDM role as well but a majority of the review will be in the left back position because even in the CDM position I feel like he's going to be okay there it's just I don't feel like he's going to be outrageous I feel like that left back position is going to be his main position but let's get into the review Henry gonna go in for the tackle well played let's run with him oh my god look at that speed little double flick yeah he's fast He's extremely fast. Oh my God. Tomato is going to catch up. We're going to be very aggressive. Keep going. Little A pass there. Can we get an assist of him? Oh my God. We can get an assist of him already. It took him three minutes to get an assist. Unbelievable so far. Going to give him the ball. I want to see how he actually feels on the ball. Like little ball roll. Left stick dribbling. Okay. So there is some, you know, touches that I do see get hit a bit too far away from his feet. But it's still very nice. Very nice on the ball. Can I get around a corner against Dembele? He is going to use his strength, but he is going to lose control of the ball. Going to try to push out to him. Oh my God, he got out to him quick and he actually won the ball there off that slide tackle. Henry, I need you to win the header. Oh my God, he got up there, didn't he? Like, oh wow, that 99 jumping, you can see that beautiful block by him as well. I'll be over. Nice little touch around the corner. Well played. Good. His speed. You can see it. As soon as he gets onto the ball, boom, he gets the acceleration going. And really nice pass as well. Little ball roll. The thing is, right, if you're thinking of using this guy as like a left wing back in a way, he can obviously go forward with his pace and dribbling. It's just he's not going to have any skill moves in the locker because he's only got three star skill moves. Going to press him. Oh my. You see how aggressive he is? And you see how fast he can actually get out to his opponent? That is ridiculous. Can I go for a bridge? Nice dribbling. Through the middle? Nah, it didn't really work out. Gonna use his pace just to track this run real quick. Look how fast he is. 
Boom, straight into position. Going to get Dembele. He's on to him. His pace is going to be a big, big factor to his game. I'll tell you that. Get out to him. Maybe try to kick, cut the lane. Couldn't get it, but he does recover and he does put in a very good tackle. Keep going. Passes down the line to Aguero. It is going to be a wonderful ball. Can we get a go out of this? That's the real question. Can I get in front? Nah, Aguero is just going to be a little bit too slow. He's going to hit down the line. He is going to hit down the line. He's challenging for the pace. Yeah, you better cut back. You know he's going to catch up to him. Good aggression to get out to him. And we are going to come out with a ball. Henry, going to go for that bridge. Bye-bye. Give it to Son. Look at that overlap. Look how fast he is on that overlap. That is absolutely ridiculous. And we're going to get the ball. Should we go for a shot? Why not? Oh, my. And we're actually going to get a finish. I didn't even read out his finishing stats because they were actually that bad. But we do get a goal with him. Going to get straight out to it. Oh, didn't really go for it. But can I recover? Look at that recovery. Oh, my God. His pace is ridiculous. Going to try to switch it with the two-star weak foot. And it is going to be spot on. Should we put him in near post? Why not? Let's see if he can actually win the header. Oh, he actually challenged, to be fair. He did challenge the header. And as far as I know, I think that's Tap Sober that he actually challenged. And it wasn't bad, you know. It wasn't bad. But still, Tap Sober is going to outheader him, which is expected. Can I go for this pass? I can go for the pass. And it's a very good one. We should actually get a goal here. RBX. First time shot. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, very questionable. Very questionable goalkeeping. But we get the goal. Nice. Well played. Keep going. Should I go for 1-2? Why not? Let's go for 1-2. Try to get him behind Tomato. He has done it. I see a back stick cross. Is he going to be able to go for the cross? Oh my god. That cross for me was perfect. But for Rand, just getting that little, little touch on it. Is he going to go for that through ball? He is going to go for the through ball. But you're not going to outpace Henry. As simple as that, boys. Keep going. Keep it going. Little ball roll. Cut into the inside. I have used him a lot. And as you clearly can see, his stamina is starting to get low. But that's all because of me. I, you know, I'm sending him on runs. I'm really trying to test him out going forward and all. Henry, catch up to Messi. Oh, with ease. With ease. You see how easy it was just to catch up to Lionel. And it was a really nice tackle. I do see that run. He hit it onto the two. Yeah, he hit it onto the two-star weak foot. And I wanted him to hit it with his stronger foot. But hey, the two-star weak foot, you can clearly see, isn't going to be the greatest time to time. It's going to pass to Bruno. Can I put in a tackle? I can put in that tackle. Well played. Good little turn as well. Can Ruben Neves get down that line? It has to be a perfect ball. It is going to be a really nice pass. I'm going to try to switch the play all the way to the other side. It's not a bad ball, but it's not a perfect ball. Going to try to get out to him. It is going to be CR7, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. But he does put in a very good tackle once again, boys. I'm going to try to fake that. I'm going to go for it. Then, yeah, there you go. That's perfect. That is so, so nice for him. Because of how fast he gets out to the opponent, it does really look like you're going to go, you know, fully commit. But then you instantly go back into the passing lane and it kind of stutters your opponent a little bit. Not through the gap. Nice. Well played. That is it was crucial. So crucial. It's ridiculous. If he doesn't get that ball, boys, we concede 100%. There's a little gap there. Going to try to start to Bruno Fernandes. Then he obviously is going to pass out to CR7. He doesn't want it. I'm telling you. He's had too many times that he's gone and gave, gave it to like CR7. And then out of nowhere, your boy Henry just instantly catches up and just goes for a tackle. This guy's not even passing to CR7 anymore. That's how you know he's scared to give it to him. Is he going to give it to CR7? I reckon he is. There you go. Then we're going to get that ball straight off him. So it is time to review him. Two games played, one goal scored with the one assist as well. I didn't even read out his shooting stats, knowing that this guy was probably not going to score. Then we go ahead and score with him. He's got 51 finishing with 55 shot power. And as far as I remember, we scored on his two-star weak foot. Unreal. Absolutely unreal. Boys, if you go ahead and get this card, you will not be disappointed. He's a free card. He's a, all you need to do is score 12 finesse shots with 11 championship players in your team, in your starting 11. It's so easy to do. And you get this beast of a left back. Go ahead and do him. Go ahead and get him. Go ahead and put him in your team. And if you have that Rooney SBC, you are blessed right now. You really are. Because a majority of you was probably thinking of getting Ashley Cole from uh, Icon Swaps because it's easy to link, you know, Rooney up with him. But there's no point now. I'm going to be honest. There's literally no point. Like, Henry, I would actually say, 
Oh, actually, no. I, I don't want to pressure that hard. I don't want to say he's a better version of Ashley Cole, but he is near enough. Okay, Ashley Cole is five foot nine. Henry is five foot seven. It's only two inches. It's not going to make the biggest of difference. I pause. Okay, pause right there. All right. So weak foot, exactly the same. Skill moves, exactly the same. Work rates, exactly the same. You get this same strength with the Yanka Kemstall on both of them. Henry is a faster player. Cole might feel better on the ball slightly and have a better long passing, but it's not worth spending all those icon swap tokens on an Ashley Cole when you have this man right here. It's just not worth it unless you're like a Chelsea fan. Chelsea fan, sorry. And then it's, un you know, kind of understandable. But if you're just doing it just to link up Rooney, do this guy. Do this guy, and you're going to be happy. It's simple as that. But let's get into the ratings. Pace, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, a 10 out of 10 for pace. Insane. Absolutely insane. Shooting ability, apparently you have to give him one. I would give him like a 5 out of 10. Why not, you know? Passing ability, it was it was good, I must admit. It was better than I expected. Those long passes down the line with his left foot were very consistent. Across the, you know, across the pitch of a two-star weak foot, it was okay, I guess. But it wasn't, you know, it wasn't what I needed it to be. So for passing, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.2 out of 10. Dribbling ability, he did feel good on the ball. He didn't feel insane, I must admit, but he did feel good on the ball. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.6 out of 10. Defending ability, he put in one hell of a tackle. I couldn't believe how good his tackling ability really was. His interceptions was really good as well. And he was throwing himself at blocks. So defensively, I was really happy with him in that left back position. So I am going to give him, I would honestly say, I'll probably put it to like an 8.9 out of 10. Seriously, that good. Physicals. Strength was nice. It really was. His aggression was nice as well. The stamina, obviously, him lasting for the whole 90 minutes was always great to see. We did see the jumping ability come into play, and he got up there. I was kind of surprised on how high he got up there, but he does get up there, definitely. So, for physicals, I am going to give him... I'll probably say like an 8.5, 8.4, 8 8.5 out of 10. It's good, without a doubt. It's just he is still going to struggle against those really, really strong fullbacks or strikers, let's say. But an overall rating out of 10, oh, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like an 8.6 slash an 8.7 out of 10. Boys, I'm telling you, I am telling you, you will not be disappointed with this card right here. The only thing that you could honestly argue is obviously the two-star weak foot and the height a little bit because you might miss out on a few interceptions. But for a free card, definitely worth the grind. But well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.